Welcome to the clinical cookout. Cookout. Hey y'all, it's Auntie Shug here. And it's Black History Month. So of course I'm in the kitchen retwisting my daughter's locks. That's where I get the most light. But let's talk a little bit about black hair for a minute. So the biggest thing that I have to deconstruct while I'm talking to my clients is the way that they feel about their hair, especially my black clients. We've been told that our hair is nappy. It's not. We've been told that our hair was not good hair. It is. And guess what? We got all those standards from white people. Those are actually European standards. So as I sit here in my bonnet with my pretty black educated therapist top on doing my daughter's hair, it makes me think about how we have to deconstruct how we're not beautiful enough for the world, how we're not pretty enough for the world, how we can't wake up every single day and just be viewed as beautiful women in this world, but everybody else can, every other culture can, when honestly we're the most diverse with our hair. She has locks, long sister locks. I have natural hair. My other daughters have braids. My other son has locks. Our hair is so versatile, and no matter what we do to ourselves, we are constantly beautiful. So I challenge you to stop using the words, oh, she has good hair. Stop looking at dark-skinned black girls or other black girls with nappy hair saying, ooh, that's that bad hair or that's that inward hair. And start looking at it and finding the beauty in everything that we have going on because the rest of the world see it even when we don't. All right, peace. Hold that key up. Hold that key up.